Okay, let's put some of this gold down on our wheat. It is time to spread some fertilizer. Yeah, I feel like I should uh, hire a guard to guard this stuff for me. $870 a ton. I think we were only paying about $500 a ton last year, thereabouts. So $870 a ton. Wow, that's crazy. It's a little chilly out here this morning. Uh, what is it, about uh, 32, 33 degrees. Wow. After yesterday of uh, 50, what was it, 50 some degrees yesterday. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. I have about a half a spreader load left in the truck uh, so when I come back to load up uh, I'm going to tilt the truck to get 
the majority of that fertilizer back to the back of the truck so I don't have to uh, shovel as much. Uh, it's probably not going to show up on this camera, but the geese have been in this field, uh, so the green kind of stops right in here. And then you can see that way, there's not a lot of green. Uh, they like to stay on the end near the creek, but up here near the road, you can see they did not bother it. But once you get uh, 50 feet or so from the road, uh, yeah, they, they stayed out there and grazed it over. Uh, but normally, it's not an issue. They're just clipping the tops off of it. Uh, that weed is going to come back and uh, be okay. They don't uh, pull it up by the roots. They're just clipping the tops off. Yeah, it sometimes it'll make you sick when you come down here and look at it. Because they can do it overnight. You know, you get a, a uh, thousand of them or so in here at one time. And it doesn't take them long to go through a field and... Uh, and turn it brown. Alright, so it's pretty green here, but then you start getting into the brown stuff here. Well, that's a low spot there where the water laid, but uh, yeah, as you get away from the house, you don't see as much green there. But here on the end of the field, see the green but then right out here where they clipped it not as much growth all right I just want to show you uh, what happens here with these geese so you can see towards the end of the field how much greener it is but then as you get away from the field and go down towards the creek uh, there's not nearly as much uh, green here but the wheat is still here. You can see right here. So they haven't they haven't pulled it up. They've just clipped it off. So whatever growth was there, they just came through and clipped it off. But the great thing about geese is they don't take anything with them. Uh, they leave whatever they take. They leave it behind, just in a different form. Yep. So it's it, you know it may look bad, but that stuff is coming coming back out. I'm throwing some fertilizer on here. Uh, it's going to warm up, and this stuff is is going to grow. Can you see them? There are some of the culprits right there out in the creek. Some of those geese. Uh, they're just waiting for me to leave the field so they can come back in here and eat some more. Those rat bastards.
okay, now I've got to go inside the truck and finish shoveling. If I'm not out in 10 minutes, uh, call somebody to come get me. got a little bit of shoveling here to do maybe about two scoopfuls to dump in there uh, that's about three quarters full so it's gonna work out just about right okay uh, this job is complete I am uh, once I spread that I'm gonna come back and probably wash the little bit of fertilizer that's left in here sweep it out wash it out and then I'm putting a load of beans on I'm not gonna get them up there today It'll probably be uh, next week before I get a month, but uh, they'll be on. So that means I'm going to say, see ya.